Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, I have created one of the guard folder. Into the guard folder, I have created another admin stateful guards, right? So that is our admin stateful guard. That is one of the interface as I told you before. So I just copy everything from our main one. That means main stateful guard. So before that was actually the different place. Like if you go to that of 45 service providers and the um, stateful guards, you can see there is a vendor, Laravel framework, illuminate contracts, auth, and then the stateful guards, right? So from here, I copy everything and I just simply paste it uh, for our admin but here that is actually our namespace it will be the different before that was as eliminate contract and the auth so right now our um, namespace will be as a app and then the guards right so now i want to do i want to change that namespace uh, so that will be as a app and then uh, the guard okay that is a guards folder so perfect make that sure you update that uh, namespace so this interface uh, that is admin um, stateful guards interface is extended our main guards right so into the main guards that is actually the file so that is actually the file location is the main file as i told you before that is our contract auth and the guard so this file is main file so when that means main our interface for the guard so right now it's okay so right now i close it and also here from this position i close it okay that is the auth auth will be needed um, that is our authenticate session guard so that is a providers okay so right now i also remove that stateful guards so now we have to do we have to update our controller like here that is for the default one for the web right so for the web that is actually our authenticated session controller as i told you that is a file location into the vendor laravel 45 src http controller and then authenticated session controller so now i want to do i want to copy everything okay i simply copy everything and now i have already created one of the controller for the admin in our http the controller there is the admin controller so here only we have to do we have to change that name space and then the class name so better after that i want to do and to paste it okay i copy everything from our authenticated session controller and now in our admin controller i paste it okay so i just simply paste it only we have to do we have to update that namespace so our namespace will be this one and that is our app http controller and also we have to update our class name our class name not that authenticated session controller here it will be as a admin controller okay so right now here we don't need this i simply remove it so here make that sure you updated your namespace and rest of this will be just like that same and class is now admin controller so now friend here we have to do we have to create some of the method okay so before creating this method i want to do i want to update our um, web route so that means here i want to create another route for this uh, that is a auth as a guard so right now we don't need this okay i close it there is a 45 service providers and that will be also needed so now in our web route area i want to do after this okay after this i want to create one of the another new route so that will be as a route everything will be very clear to you why i'm actually using it because i have to create some of the method and i will make it better as a group okay i make it as a group and into the group area i want to do i want to make some of the prefix first okay i make it as a prefix and prefix will be i have to also create one of the uh, middleware okay so i will also create another middleware so better i right now i name it later you will create it that means the admin and into the admin area i want to do i want to create another middleware okay middleware and into the middleware area i want to do i want to create one of the middleware I just uh, want to create one of the middleware name as the admin, okay? Admin and then admin. So this type of, of the middleware I want to create. Mm, I will do that things later. And our prefix will be as the admin prefix. That means admin related, everything will be as a slash admin. And that is our middleware. And we have to create one of the middleware in our admin. That will be as the admin. And then after this, okay? After this, I want to do, I want to add that our function. So that is our, our function and here I want to do and to add that function. Okay, so right now here I want to do and to create uh, some of the method that means first of all I want to create another route. So in Laravel 8 I think you already know what exactly that format you have to flow. So that will be one of the gate method and here I put one of the URL or URL will be as a logging. 
okay so into the logging url area we have to do we have to pass it we have to pass our uh, controller name so i have created that controller or controller name as admin controller so into the admin controller area i want to create another method right so for the reasons here we have to do we have to add it so that is our admin controller class okay that is admin controller class and here i want to do i want to create one of the method and whatever the name actually you choose right now i want to do i want to name it as a logging form okay logging from this type of one of the method I want to create perfect and then the semicolon um, so into the if you want to use that admin controller in Laravel 8 I think you already remember that part we have to do have to use it right so we have to use it so better I use so that is in our app um, that is if you go to our app controller uh, that is admin controller so that is our app HTTP controllers right so now I copy it and here I simply paste it that is the app HTTP HTTP controllers and into the controllers folder I have created as the admin controller so make that sure you use it so now we can actually use that our admin controller into the admin controller area I want to create one of the method as a locking form and also I want to do and to put that uh, locking details so for the reasons I want to create another route so that will be one of the post method okay so that will be another post method and our url will be url will be same i make it as a logging that means a slash logging and after that okay after that i want to add that same logic that means here better i copy it okay I like to copy total things and after that in our admin controller so into the admin controller in class i want to create another method and i just name want to create another method as a store okay store and better i want to put another route name I put that name our name will be oh, I name it this as a admin logging okay so this type of one of the route name I just simply define I hope it is very much clear to you so I have created the group prefix as the admin prefix and then the middleware I didn't create this middleware I will create this later and then the function and then the one of the I created two of this um, route one is the get method one is the post method our URL is actually actually the same as a slash locking okay so here you can see that is actually the slash logging so I also want to do I want to use uh, the same things so for the reason say I name it as a slash locking you know that means automatically it will be added that admin and then the slash logging okay so here I have used that prefix as the admin that means it should be as the admin slash and then the logging right so for the reason here I am actually using that uh, prefix as the admin logging and you know admin controller I want to create on the method as a logging form and to create another one as a store and I just name it I name this route as a admin logging and also I want to update another one so better I copy this route here before that is actually our user okay so for the user as I told you it's actually using the by default as a web that means a web guard so now I want to do I want to make it as a web guard and that will be uh, for our admin guard so I make it as a admin okay when it's still as a verified that means which page you want to actually access you can actually access it so now I want to do uh, when this uh, admin will be logging that means that is our admin guard so when this admin guard will be logging that will be one of the I just put that URL will be as a admin slash okay admin slash dashboard and function and into the function area you can actually load different type of template which I will cover it later and just name that as the same name as a dashboard that means return view in our view page so into the view so here there is a view page into the view page that is actually the dashboard okay so this page will be loaded so as I told you friend literally we will actually uh, add a two different template one will be for our admin another will be for our um, user okay and when it will be logging with the web web means when it will be as a user then it will be as a verified when this will be as a verified it will be get that as a slash dashboard that will be as a user dashboard okay and then function will be returned the same page so right now I am actually using the same page for the admin and also I am to same use that same page for the user literally we will segment both of these so now that is actually a web and web for our user as I told you if you go to that our config into the config if you go to that auth you can see by default guard as a web guard and also I have checked it so that is our web guard and when it will be as an admin that will be as a URL will be updated as an admin dashboard perfect 
so now we have to do we have to create uh, this logging that means this logging from in our admin controller so we have to create this method now go to our admin controller so right now we don't need this in our admin controller here after this okay after this i want to create another new method and i just name it as a public and then function and then our method name i want to create this method as a logging form i copy it and then that will be as a logging form okay so it is a logging form area i only want to do and to load our guard as the admin guard so i simply return and return on the view page because here i want to do i want to use that same um, page that means same logging page so this page actually comes from our which place this page is comes from our if you go to our view into the view that is a auth you can see into the auth area that is the logging so this page actually <laughs> what the comes from this location so that is a logging blade.php so now i want to do i want to load it mm, that means here there is a view so into the view area first of all i want to, want to use that our folder name as auth folder and the logging right so that is our view and the auth and then that is actually our logging blade so i simply uh, load this page and here i want to do i want to use the one of the guard here i want to do i want to use another guard so our guard will be changed our guard will be right now i want to do i want to use that as a um, guard and our guard will be as a admin guard right so that will be simply as a admin i hope friend it's very much clear to you so friend here i am loading the same page that is our auth logging that means when any uh, when an installer will default authentication system for the user actually i am actually able to access this page right so that is if you refresh it you can see for the user i actually use that same this page so this page as i told you this page is comes from our which place this page is comes from our auth and then the logging right and also here i have created another method as a logging form and into the logging form area i also load the same page that means the auth logging page but only our guard will be changed as the admin for the reasons here in our auth into the logging here i only want to do and to update um that is actually our action route okay so into the action route i want to change it because of all here i want to do when that will be as a logging there that means this logging page will be loaded when it will be as a guard as a admin guard that means the slash admin logging then our same page will be loaded okay so for the reasons here i want to do i want to update it, that action and here you can see that is email field that is a password field that remember password field so here only i want to update this action into the action area okay here into the action area hmm, i want to do i want to first of all add that how the is set okay that means the is set i want to first of all add that is set our guard so i simply add that uh, guard okay i simply add that guard and into the guard area i want to put that condition as a url our url when it should be as a our this guard okay with this guard when this guard will be a slash i want to add that slash logging okay logging so that will be as a slash logging and then um, else else it will be as a our default one as a, that means our out okay I hope friend it's very much clear to you what exactly the things I did on here. So that I just simply load the things that we is said guard when it should it should be getting this guard. Here you can see that is actually our guard. When it should be getting this guard, so it will be as a guard name and then slash logging. Right? That means it should be as a admin. When it should be get that as a admin guard name, as a, it should be as a admin and then slash login. Okay, so that would that will be as the same as else. That is our else and else the route will be the same the route will be as a logging and with this logging that means it should be as a only slash logging i hope friend it is very much clear to you here i simply updated that ac action so right now that's all we have to do so now i just simply um save it now we don't need these the 45 here also we and that is a providers that will be needed later right now i minimize everything okay i minimize everything so in our admin controller into the admin controller now we have to do we have to support some of the file we have to support that um attempt to authenticate file we have to support the tdac to factory cable this file and also the interface that we are using so here we have uh, used another interface and you can see we have used that interface as a stateful guard interface so now we have to do we have to add all that file so into this um, here i want to do 
I want to minimize it. So in our action, into the action, there is a 45. Okay, here I want to do, I want to actually load all that our file. That that will be for our only admin related everything. So if you want to do that work, first of all, we have to do, we have to create some of the file. I want to create this file. That is actually the file location we have to find out. So, and then we, we have to do, we have to add it into the 45 area. So for finding out that file location you have to do, you have to go to that uh, Laravel. So right now I minimize everything. Okay, I minimize this one. And now if you go to that vendor, into the vendor area, if you go to that Laravel, you can see that is a Laravel. Into the Laravel that is a 45, into the 45 area you have to go to that SRC, into the SRC that is the action. So into the action area you can see that is the attempt to authenticate. Okay, that is the attempt to authenticate and then there is another file will be needed as a redact um, you can see redact two factor authenticate that means this file so if you want to find out this file if you select it and if you open that open container folder so i simply open it that is open container folder so now it's open so that is actually the two file will be needed that is our redact two factory authenticatable i copy it and also want to do and to take it another one uh, that is our attempt to authenticate. So now I copy both of this file. Okay, I copy both of this file. So that is our SRC and action. I copy it and now go to our project. So into the project. Now if you go to that app, into the actions, that is our 45. Here I want to do and to paste it. Okay, I want to paste both of this on here. Okay, so here I simply updated both of these. So now I want to do and to work with our these two of this file. Okay, so now if you go to the action, there is the app action, the 45 into the 45 area, that is our attempt to, you can see, there is an attempt to authenticate. And also there is another one as a redirect two factor. So here, first of all, if you open it, we have to do, we have to change that name space. So now that is not that position. So now that is in our app right into the app and then the action folder actions actions folder and with the actions folder that is a 45 right so that is actually our name space so make that sure you update that the name space that is our app and then the actions folder and then the 45 folder and also and to do and to update that name space for our redirect um to factory so here also want to do and to update both of this okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so make that sure you updated that namespace and rest of this will be just like that same for our redirect two factor authenticable. You can see everything will be just like that same here. We don't need to change anything. Okay. So that will be just like that same in our attempt to authenticate into the attempt to authenticate only you have to change that namespace and rest of this will be same. That is a handle. Uh, so that is our another one request remember everything will be just like that so that is the 45 guards so here we also we don't need to change anything okay so now i just click as a save all so right now i close both of this so now we have to do we have to create the middleware okay so that means here i didn't create this middleware so now we have to create this middleware we have to update the provider so step by step i will continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video